get people that give me suggestions on different things and then other ideas will pop into my head. So for Valentine's Day, a friend of mine had said, why don't you do blind date with the book? So I had wrapped up books and people that came to pop-ups or if they saw it online, they could pick out a book that, and I just, if you're not familiar, you just give a short description, but they don't know the title. They don't know the author. They're just taking that chance on the blind date. And so that worked out well. And then in March, I thought March is St. Patrick's Day. So I'll have a lucky day sale. So if people visit me, they can pick a coin out of the bin and it'll say 30% off your entire order or a tote bag for if you spend this much money, you get a free tote bag, things like that. So I'm trying to offer people different discounts because I know that books can be expensive. However, if you think about it too, when you're buying a book, even if you're paying full price, if it's a trade paperback, let's say those are around $17. It might take you 17 hours to read it. Maybe it'll only take you eight hours to read it. Regardless, that's only a dollar or $2 per hour for your entertainment where you're right. paying how much money to go see a movie these days. I have no idea even anymore, $12 or whatever it is locally, and which is a lot. To me, but obviously inflation is everywhere. So I think I get a lot more bang for my buck in the entertainment of reading a book. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 